All right, let's, uh, before we go to Trasco, let's get one of the biggest stories from the market that is emerging right now. According to Business Day newspaper, today's edition, the demutualization of the stock exchange will be done by half, by the first half of this year, sometime around June. That's quoting the Securities and Exchange Commission Director General. But of course, it was just in September last year that Aroma Ote said the demutualization of the stock exchange will not take place until the year 2012. So why the hurry? And we started this last week that the NSC is going for sale. So who are those who are angling to buy the stock exchange for cheap and as soon as possible? This is the story that is unfolding and Business Morning investigates. If you've read the front page lead story in today's Business Day newspaper, it contains a number of errors and whether these were intentional or not. The proposal to demutualize the stock exchange started in the year 2002. It was in the middle of that year, the end of June, that the Council of the Exchange, under the then president of the Council, Abdul Razak, proposed a new measure to demutualize the stock exchange and allow the public to own majority share of the demutualized stock exchange. The same proposal was presented to the Securities and Exchange Commission under the Musa al Faki, who will reveal, starting from tomorrow, what the team analysts have put together on this very important issue. So why is the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Stock Exchange consolidating the market before demutualization? The removed Director General of the Stock Exchange said at the beginning of 2009 that there were plots by certain individuals to corner the majority shares of the demutualized stock exchange now that the cat has been let out of the bag who is angling to get what and why should every one of us be on high alert let's talk about transco one of the companies in the conglomerate subsector the first indigenous conglomerate listed on our own exchange the story is out there right now that uh, a South African oil company known as Sack Oil will be part of this oil story. But let's start from what is already on ground. Transco Hilton uh, has been described as a success story. It's going to be a public, there's going to be an offer for sale by the BP in September. Yesterday, uh, the initial story was there was an IPO, but we just got, got that confirmation. Uh, this is a developing story that is, will actually be an offer for sale of the 24% of the government equity of 51% of, of uh, equity that will be divested. Uh, so the 10% of that of, uh, uh, will go to the Hilton staff after this offer for sale. The details are still being worked out. Transco bought into uh, Transco Hilton Hotel in 2005. Government became a um, uh, minority shareholder, 49% of the Transco owns 51%. And, uh, of course, uh, there have been investors swooping on the shares of Transco since this news became uh, street talk, as it were. Yesterday, you could see the volume coming through there on your TV screen, 9.5 million ordinary shares. This is a company that came to the market, 750 per share, now at 50 cover per share. And some, uh, some folks told me yesterday they need some money very quickly to buy in. 133 deals. This is a company that had suffered so much until the last annual shareholders meeting in Calabar, uh, the Cross River State capital, in the middle of October last year, when the news came out that the company is now on a trajectory of a recovery. But now that another $30 million will be added into the coffers of Transco PLC, selling 40% of its oil block to a South African company, Sark Oil, uh, limited or PLC, I beg your pardon, listed on the GSE, as well as another company with Nigerian uh, leg, Energy Equity Resources, ERR. This cash for equity deal, according to analysts, will boost Transco's cash flow position. Of course, the stock exchanges in Joburg and Lagos have approved of this deal. So the man who was there in Calabar uh, on the front seats at the last annual general meeting, one of the investors or shareholders in Transco is with us, Boniface Okeze. Good morning. Thank you for coming through. Was it my pleasure. Uh, morning to, to be program, here. Yep. Uh, this morning. Uh, I'm sure this looks like uh, uh, time to smile for folks like you who have held on to Transco from 750 IPO in 2005, 2006, and now to see uh, a lot, not couple. just a, a glimmer of hope, but looks like things are looking up. Yeah, exactly. Th things are looking up to Transco. You know, uh, we tell a lot of people who approach us, uh, do you need to sell them? I say, no, don't. 
even if it has come like this, you know, it is time for you to mop up, to dilute whatever you bought at a high price at that time, 750. Not 50, mop it up. That will dilute what you have, you know, and keep it up there. In the next two or three years, the share price will come at least worse, five naira. If you are buying a 50 kobo and selling a three naira or two naira, you are making a lot of money now. And they have to drive a volume of millions, not even buying 10,000 units or 100,000 units at 750. Now, if you have the money, you can move up to 2 million, 5 million and keep it in the next two years. You will smile back to the bank, you know. That's it also contributed a lot of voter confidence. Pass on the management and the board. Last year in Calabar, I was there live with the GM. The whole were filled to capacity. The shareholders were happy. By the time they told them this is what we're doing and this is what is going to happen by this end of the quarter, you, know, you see a new transcorp. With the new management that are focused right now in place, you know, I think this is a time for shareholders to jubilate that dividend because these investments now coming from uh, public investment corporations South Africa, you know, through their South Oil, you know, uh, buying to the, 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 the oil block given to them, the transcorp, you know, and that's a, a boost for the company. What does that mean? Translating dividend coming for the company. Because if you are not be giving, getting dividend from this company, you know, in the last two, three years, they're about, you know, this is time for you to hang on there. That dividend is about to come. You're talking about the jubilation. Yep. Um, some of us were, the, the, the last Transco AGM, there were jubilations for those who watched the video. Yep. Uh, for those of you who said that this is a company that's did about three year and a shareholders meeting at once and uh, things were looking up. Would you say that your jubilations last October has been justified with the Transco Hilton story and uh, the, this oil block, $30 million cash for equity? Of course, the, the Transco Hotel it has been transformed since the Transco took over, you know, uh, being a, a partner in that hotel, you know. Uh, but my worry now, yes, federal government should divest and sell off whatever percentage. Because government still there is a problem. Because if government are still there, that place will not move forward. Okay? The member must allow a free hand to operate, to run the place as a profitable company. If you agree to members of the public as IPO, it's a welcome development. But then, you must also discuss those who are already there, Transcorp, who are already there. You know. If the government are selling at 49%, to the members of the public, whatever, you know, 10% for the staff. Where are they going to get the money, the staff? Who's going to approve what? Is it the Transcorp to approve the money for the purchase loan for the staff, you know? Because Transcorp also hotel will be going to expansion. That, that when the government completes out, you know, they have to go into expansion. Because later today, that play may not be enough to absorb visitors who are trickling into the hotel. Uh, a lot of activities the are going on there. The government is not ready to let go of Transco Hilton because it's a success story. Yeah. And everybody say, They must. Say, because success government are not success, good success, at running business. Success has many children. Government is not good at running business. No, government, so government you know, if, if Transco Hilton is making money, mm. the government government wants to leave. Government is selling 24, holding oh. on to 25 through BPE. If, if Transco Hilton is paying dividend, government wants some money. Well, if government is holding 25%. So you can't afford not to be if government with holding the government. 25%. Yes, you know, government have provided the enable environment, the infrastructure, yes, you know, they can hold that to get the dividend accrued to them, to, you know, able to put those money to so other, why other, other, other value. why do you want the government out completely? But government should also water down, even that to 5%, it's on the high side. What do you suggest? Government should can hold 10%. What do you suggest? Government can hold 10%, you know. So that will not allow them to appoint anybody on board. The what they have, that is 10%, if I could dividend for them. Oh, so you don't want government, of course. You don't want government, uh, uh, government on board? Government should not be there. No appointee of government, you know, on board. Clearly, you know, the history have told us, in you know, most companies that you know, I mean, government are in. Today, they don't make any profit. Government will begin to distortions because we're on the board. We're appointed. Every event, their government will hire the play. They will not pay in time. That's a problem, you know. So government officials will go there and lodge. They will not pay. You, if I'm a shareholder, if I have any business to go there, I will pay my money. Not that I'm a stakeholder. But that's not for the government. So we pray that the government will be holding 10%. That made them to have that dividend. To, you know, the, by the time the dividend will come in for that company, government will utilize it to other areas that needed money. That's normal, that's normal thing. That's normal practice. 10% is a good enough for government to be there. But not having any seat on board. They are purely having that place on the pure investments they have made. And dividend accrued to it, they will send it to them uh, at least to their arm of investment well, company. What, what have you? This twenty-four percent sell-off is a good story, at least. I mean, it's so a good start, story. Start, no? So starting point. Of course, you know, if that twenty-four percent be sold in the public, ten percent, I would have believed that BP should be able to discover with Transcorp already. You know, 
the, 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 the GMD today, or Transcorp, is an investment guru. Okay, investment manager when banking. He knows all about stocks. Parley with them. BB shouldn't have gone on air to announce it. You must parley with them, discuss with them the modalities to sell these shares. They offer the idea because they are, they are grounded. They know everything. The chairman of the or the Transcorp knows everything in the capital market. You need the advice, you know, to how to go about these things. If you approach them, they parley, they sit down together and work out the modalities, how this needs to be sold. 10%, as I said earlier, you know, who is going to give the staff? The staff not be interested in buying the shares there. They want to work, get their money out. But if they want also to be a partaker, they can go to, to IPO, to public offer. That doesn't stop them if you have the money. So you don't, government will not give them money to go and buy shares. Neither the Transcorp, you know, who are looking money to do their business, will not give them loan. So even not 10%, you know, you can ask, approach the Transcorp. If you have the money, pay all the 10%, added to what you have, you know. That's the matter. They will put it on. Because if you now bring those offer for sale, it may be undersubscribed. At the end of the day, they warehouse them. Some of the hotels that came to the market you know, last time, I think 2006, uh, Ikeja Hotel, were they fully subscribed? They were not. Some of them were warehouse, you know. How much of the price of those shares are trading today? The one, uh, the, 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 the hotel in, I mean, in Abuja, the one that put in the stock exchange, how much are they trading today? How much price are they going to sell? So these things you sit down with Transco and work it out. Because you cannot say that today be the trend era, you know. Those hotels are already quoted. This are the chain. How much are they trading? Trend era, one naira eighty. Ikeja, um, Shate Hotel Ikeja. It's about one naira eighty today, you know. So if you say you're telling a trend era, it will be undersubscribed. So you must approach them to take some of the portion that, you know, not fully taken up by the public, you know. That is Transcorp. They will hold it and add what they have. That's a normal if the government wants to have the money. Okay, needed for them to get money and do other things. We have a very limited time, but we yep. need to move on. Of course, the Transco Hilton, anyone who gets to be here knows this. It's a success story. But this oil money is where it looks like the, everybody will want to cash in, isn't it? What's oil money? Yes, is coming in. Uh, because they told us last year in Abuja and in, in Calabar, with this money coming, this oil block, and thank you, government, you know, for living up the expectation. The government will have today is a listed government, you know, that have seeded back that oil block to them. After vacation, you know, I have to commend the government of the day. And the government is of the day, you know how the business thrive, you know, with confidence. With this money now coming in, Transcorp will be able to move this money to that other area that needed the, this money to prosecute their business. What areas would they put this money? The energy is there. They have those things that, you know, communication is there, power. Agriculture is there. That's one of the things line up their program, you know. They call it last year, it was shown, you know, the slide was shown. To the shareholders, the, the, shareholder. the, the fruit juice factory, of course, in the fruit factory is concentrated in, 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 in you know. So these are things they need money. With it, by the time they are putting this money in those places, you know, what are you talking about? Volume of business will increase. The turnover, the more the turnover, the more the profit they will make at the end of the day. The more the profit will be shared among the investor, among shareholders. But unlike whatever, if you have forty million dollar, whatever shareholders are looking for is dividend. That's their concern. Does not matter how much money you have, but you must give them dividend in their return on investments. That's what they are looking at, you know. And that's why everybody will now rejoicing with this with money. That Transcorp will be able to do a good business that the next one year, by the <coughs> sorry, by the end of this financial year, that dividend will start rolling from the company. Which the promise they made. Of course, last year they would have paid dividend. Because of you know the the the, the quantum of business they did, shareholders say no, don't propose any dividend because they, they have the consultation. That's the board, listening board they have. The board that have focus, you know, they consulted among shareholders. Mm. They said, don't pay. Because if you pay now, you still need the liquidity cash to drive your business. Mm. And, the, and the hackers see that, you know, mm. they didn't pay. But this year, with this kind of money coming in, there's no way they will tell story, no dividend for shareholders. They won't pay dividend. And that also moved the equity for, you know, uh, from 50 Kobo, so about maybe Naira or two Naira, as the case may be. Mm. I, I, mean, I mean, the volume of business have to be driven now. Because mm. that will translate money mm. coming to the company. Mm. And at the end, you know, if you don't have dividend, the price equity must move forward. All right. I think we got to leave the transcript story uh, there. We need to take another break here on the program. When we come back, uh, Mr. Kese, we will ask you questions about the plan to sell the stock exchange. Uh, uh, the story is already out. Uh, I'm sure this is one very interesting <laughs> story that's been uh, part of the political uh, politicking. Uh, the marketplace will want to have your views on, on this. We'll take a break. When we return to the global marketplace today, the planned reopening of the Egyptian stock exchanges once again 
been postponed from today the 1st of March till Sunday this week. Will the next day hold?